So here is my brand new Phantom 3 standard that I got from DJI.com in replacement for my Phantom 2 Vision, which I sold and I absolutely hate it. I, I should have went with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, but this camera here was a joke. It was essentially a very, very narrow field of view camera on a loud servo. Every time you pitch, you can hear the gears grinding. It was super stupid. So flying with the Phantom 3, you immediately noticed the power. It is a... 4S battery versus the traditional 3S battery that came with the Phantom 2. I noticed that my flight times were much longer. I'm getting about 25 minutes on one single charge, which is pretty good considering it was also zero Celsius. So how is the range on the Phantom 3? Well, on paper, it says it's about 1.5 kilometers, but I was getting roughly about one kilometer. I personally don't like flying my quadcopter that far. There is a lot of stuff that I have to worry about as my quadcopter flies further away and I can't see it during line of sight. One of the biggest thing that bugs me is the field of view. I was not used to a 94 degree field of view. It was just so narrow to fly that I didn't feel safe. I always feel like, oh, I might be crashing into something. The reason why they have such a narrow field of view is that when you are flying forward, you don't get the prop shots. And also with a narrow field of view, you get you feel like you're flying a lot lower to, to an object, which turns out to be a great benefit if you're trying to capture cinematography. So another feature I really like about the Phantom 3, which kicks GoPro's karma's ass, is follow me mode. I, I don't know why the GoPro Karma did not have follow me. Like GoPro is an action cam co company and it does not have follow me, which is absolutely ridiculous. With the follow me mode, sometimes it just seems like the Phantom is dumbfounded and it doesn't know what to track. And it just kind of like hovers there and it just waits for something fast move and just tracks it. I really like how DJ incorporated the telemetry onto your mobile phone now. Not only can I see the camera itself, but I also see the live telemetry. Like it's really nice to know what's going on with your aircraft. Like that gives me a lot more trust and know what I'm doing. For example, it's like driving a car without speedometer or temperature. You just feel a little more iffy and just a lot more guessing work going on. So with the telemetry telling me it's satellites, battery, GPS signal, it even tells me the voltage of each and every individual cell in the lipo which is kind of overkill but that's awesome if you guys didn't know a lot of dji flyaways is caused by either gps failure or imu failure also known as the compass failure imu failure can be multiple things it can either be uh, from strong magnetic fields or a lot of interference or the imu being cold so when i flew my phantom last time it was pretty cold and i when i tried to launch the phantom it said imu warming up which at first i thought was annoying but I'm pretty happy with DJI trying to solve flyaways. I know it's not gonna completely solve the mysterious flyaway, but at least you're trying to minimize the problem and countermeasuring that. Another feature I forgot to mention is the self-calibrating gimbal. It is, it works absolutely amazing. So with the cheap gimbals you get from Banggood and Good Luck Buy, over time as you fly, especially in the cold, you notice that the footage slowly tilts, tilts, and you're eventually the horizon will be on an angle which is super annoying. You have to land the quadcopter and recalibrate the gimbal to make sure the accelerometer and gyro are level. So those are the reason why I like the Phantom 3 standard that the Phantom 2 did not have. So here's the reason why I bought the Phantom 3 standard and not the Phantom 3 Advanced or the Phantom 3 Professional. So number one, I use this as both recreation and a tool. So what do I mean by recreation? I would take this to a family vacation trip and if I wanna share videos on Facebook and Instagram, I would definitely bring my Phantom 3 in the air and capture the video and share it online. And what I mean by a tool is say for example, something is stuck on the roof or there is a hole in the roof, I'll use the Phantom 3 to surveillance that. So reason number two, I'm not like Devin Supertramp or Rocket Jump. I do not make professional YouTube footage. So all the other advanced features like 2.7K or 4K or even further distance, I, that's not needed for me. So reason number three, the Phantom 3 only supports up to 180p. Does your own computer and monitor supports 4K and render in 4K? If it doesn't support that, then why even bother? So I always see what the bottleneck for me is. So my computer is not that powerful and I cannot render in 4K or view in 4K. So the Phantom 3 standard limits out at 180p, which is good enough for me.